Hello everyone and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Now in this tutorial I'm going to basically be recreating this mechanic where you shoot a projectile and it hits a like an object or whatever and you want to apply an impulse force towards it. To begin, basically we want to add um, a custom event and let's just call this fire bullet. The first parameter is we want the direction that we want to fire the bullet in. So in order to do that we can get the forward vector of the first person camera. So what the forward vector does, the forward vector gets the x direction of the camera. So let's say we want to multiply the x direction of the camera by 10, uh, by a float value of 10. What this does, it's going to create a line that will end 10 centimeters away from the starting point um, in the direction, whatever direction that may be, of the forward vector in world space. So if we grab this, and we grab the the get world location we can multiply this forward vector by the distance that we want the bullet to travel so let's just say it travels at two let's just say 2000 centimeters and what we can do now is then we can add a line trace for channel and we want it to trace on visibility. Now the starting location for this line trace will be the camera, which is this location right in here. And the end location is 2000 centimeters away from the camera. So what we can do is we can add these two vectors together like this, and this will give us 2000 centimeters from this location in this direction and that will be our endpoint. Now if we trace the complex and we put it as per one frame we can see this if I simulate this on tick so and obviously you're not going to be firing the bullet every single frame it's just I want to show you if I go into and I press F8 we can see that from the camera's location uh, the camera's here it's just invisible right now but from the camera's location we are traveling 2000 centimeters until we hit something and as you can see, the ray ends there. Now, what we want to do is, in this case, if we're going to spawn it from the, the bullet or the, the barrel of the gun, you would make a collision or some sort of sphere location. And then now it spawns from the barrel of the gun. However, commonly, uh, the line traces are spawned from the actual camera, like so. Okay, now, if we right click on the out hit, we can either split strut or we can break it. It depends on how you like doing it. Um, so basically from here, we want to return a few different items. Okay, so so yeah, so once we break the hit result, uh, we can return a few parameters. And now a few of these parameters that I just want to go over really briefly are the hit actor, the hit component, and then I'll talk about these right after. But so when we're making a projectile, like a bullet impact and add an impulse to a uh, an object, what we actually want to call is the hit component. Now we want to call the hit component for the reason that the component in the actor is what is actually simulating physics, not the actor. For example, if I want to create a static mesh at the bottom right here, this is a component of the actor that I have the ability to simulate physics on. So the components are what simulate physics. So then now what we can do is you can call something called set physics linear velocity like that and then we can drag in our component and we want to add to current so it's instead of setting it to a certain value we're adding um, whatever this value may be now let's just set this to let's just say 25 for now and let's create a, a class um, called actor and this let's just call it enemy and let's just add a static mesh component and this will be your player um, for example so it's like 100 kilograms let's drag our enemy here boom so as you can see every time our line trace hits it because it's ticking it's on tick every time it hits it it's adding 25 velocity in the z direction now it's actually going out of our range uh, when it gets too high. Like right now it's out of our range, so it doesn't add anymore. So to address those errors, we need to actually add a 
cast if we only want to affect our enemy. So let's just say cast to enemy. And now we're getting the actor because we're casting whatever actor we hit. And we're basically checking if it is an enemy. And then if it is an enemy, we're going to apply the uh, velocity to the hit component. Now we shouldn't get any errors. Boom. Fix that. Yeah. Okay. So we fix that. See? No more errors. And now, in order to apply the force in the direction of the bullet, what we can do is we can get this vector right here, multiply this by the force. So let's just create a parameter called impact force, I guess. Just delete that. Or bullet force. And let's just set this to 200. Let's take this off of event tick. And let's add fire. Now watch this, every time we hit, it's applying that force in the direction that we hit it at. See? So let's make this a bit more visible by, let's just say this um, for duration, and let's just say, yep, five seconds, and let's increase this to 500. You can see how the force acts in the direction that we're looking at, like that. Now, since we're casting, notice how it the bullets don't affect anything else because these are not our enemies. So we don't want to apply forces to, for example, if we hit this wall, we don't want to run through extra code and apply a force to the wall. So this is actually a really good system. Now, if you've seen my other videos, you can see that I've got a health system that you could add to these types of enemies. So if you've got like little players running around, you'll be able to shoot them um, and like apply forces. And if you have a ragdoll setup, which I'm going to do a tutorial in the future, you'll be able to see the physics animation react to this. So yeah, so if you enjoyed that video, please make sure to like and subscribe. I've got a Discord server which will be linked down in the description below. And stay tuned for the next one, guys.